hello friends and welcome back to this new video and in this video i am going to show you how you can create a usb bootable drive and carry multiple isos of operating systems so this is very useful for situations like if you want to try out linux if you want to try out uh, windows different versions like windows 10 or windows 8.1 linux distros like kubuntu KD, Neon or Manjaro or Ubuntu or elementary OS. So for this you will need a USB stick with a suitable capacity of say for example 16 GB or more. If you increase the capacity of the USB stick you can have more number of ISOs copied into that USB stick. And the next piece of software we need that is Ventoy. It is a free and open source software and it is used to create the USB bootable drive. It is being updated at the GitHub page that I will be showing you in a moment and you can keep on updating your USB stick as per the updates. So I hope that you will learn something new. So let's get going. So next you have to choose a suitable capacity pen drive. Here I have 16 GB and 8 GB. The only uh, limit is the size of the pen drive. If you choose a larger capacity pen drive then you can store much more of the ISOs of operating systems and you can carry a lot more uh, operating systems in your pen drive. So for this demonstration I am going to use this 16 GB one and I am going to uh, store four ISOs in this like Windows and Linux. So just take your pen drive and make sure that you don't have any data in this if you have any data just back it up and plug it on your usb port on your laptop or desktop and the next step will go to the desktop so the next step will be going to this website called ventoy and click on downloads so this is a uh, tool to create USB bootable drives for multiple ISOs. Uh, generally, you can create a single ISO per USB drive, but using this tool, you can carry multiple ISOs like Windows, Linux, etc. So just need to click on uh, Windows zip if you are on Windows and if you are using Linux, you can go to this link. Just click on this link. It will take you to a GitHub page as this is an open source software, you can use it for free. And this is the latest release. You just need to scroll down. So once this page opens, you click on windows.zip and it will start the download. I've already downloaded this file and I have it here on uh, my folder. Then right click on this zip file and click extract to Ventoy or extract here. So I've already extracted here and this folder will be created and you can see the application is inside the folder. So after this, we need to download some ISO files for testing like Windows 10. You can alternatively search for Ubuntu. You can search for Manjaro. Whichever desktop flavors you like for Linux, you can download those. For now, I am showing only some of these. Let's take four of them. Let's give it a try, KDE Neon. So when you search for Windows 10 ISO download, you will get, get this first link. You click on this. And here you have to do a thing to get the ISO file. Now in here, Microsoft has hidden the links to download the ISO files. You have to download the tool and then you can create the ISO file and download that ISO file. But we want to directly download the ISO file. So for that, if you are on Chrome, you click on these three dots, go to more tools, developer tools. Again, you click on these three dots in the sidebar that opens then more tools, network conditions. And here you uncheck select automatically. Then 
scroll down select custom and choose chrome ipad okay and then in this page the microsoft page you refresh it once so when you refresh it the microsoft website will be open just like it it is opened in a web browser on a mobile device so here you can see now the edition is selected that means you can download the iso file directly so this option was hidden earlier so in this page you have to refresh it once and you will see this the latest update you click on this and click on confirm then you can choose the edition if you want uh, which language you want let's choose for international english and then confirm then you need to choose the architecture you want to download for your pc like 64 bit or 32 bit you can select any one and click download and the file will start downloading so i have already done that so let's close this now and go to ubuntu downloads in here you can go to desktop you can click on ubuntu flavors also let's take a look at kubuntu go to the download section and click on the lts1 because it is a long term supported release and it will have a, a very stable uh, base for your software or you can go for the latest one but it will have some bugs so just click on 64 bit download and it will start a download so i have already done that let's go to another linux page manjaro and click on any one option let's click kde plasma because i like kde plasma you can choose for the xfc version and try it it is very uh, lighter on hardware resources and useful uh, when you are installing it on weaker laptops or desktops so just click on here so just click on download minimal okay take me to download and it will automatically start a download if not then click on this link So I already have done that. Let's go to another page, KDE Neon, click on download, click on user edition or live install me image. So the ISO has started downloading. I have already done that. So now close all windows, click on Ventoy to disk where you have downloaded it. So when it opens, it will show up your USB pen drive. If not, then click refresh or unplug your USB device and then connect it again. And it will automatically detect it. Then go to option and click on secure boot support. Then again, option, then partition style will be selected as MBR, let it be and click on install. So I have already installed it, it will flash up your uh, usb pen drive and it will copy the required files to make it bootable so if you download the latest package you can go to that folder again you can click on uh, update package you have already ventoy in your pen drive then you can click on update package so let's do update package on my pen drive all the ISOs will be remaining unchanged. That means all the data will be safe. Just the version of the Ventoy to disk uh, application will be updated. So once it gives congratulations, you have successfully updated the device. The same process can be done for installation. Remember all your data from the USB pen drive will be deleted. So before installing, just remember to back up your data. So I've already done the install. And after that, you just need to copy the disk images that you have downloaded. For example, I have Manjaro KDE, Neon, and Windows 10, 
these ISOs you just need to copy into the Ventoy disk and already I have copied it to save some time and now you need to close so just click on start menu power and restart now the computer will restart and you have to hold on to the boot menu option in different laptops you have different options for this Lenovo one you have F2 just to continuously press F2 and then once the laptop boots in the BIOS then go to security click on secure boot option and you need to disable it to boot from any ISO and then you have to click exit saving changes click yes and then need to press F12 on this particular laptop for most of the Lenovo laptops you have boot option for F2 and F12 if you want to go to the BIOS you have F2 and if you want to select the boot option menu you can click on F12 now in here we need to select our USB stick that is USB HDD mine one is HP so I have to select the HP one then press enter and here you can see we have successfully booted into the application that is Ventoy and four of the ISO files that I had copied into this USB stick is showing now you can uh, use this to try out different distros from Linux and also you can use it to install them like you can use it to install Windows 10 you can try out KD uh, Neon or Manjaro or Ubuntu any distro you want so let's just try to boot from KD Neon press enter it will automatically select the required boot option and boot from that for Ubuntu and Ubuntu derivatives you need to press Control C to cancel this checking so here it is it has been successfully booted from the live USB stick so this way you can create uh, a installer for different operating systems without having to carry multiple USB sticks for different uh, operating systems you just need to have a single USB stick and you can copy your ISO files here and you can try it out you can carry it as a backup uh, uh, solution sometimes if your hard disk uh, crashes or your laptop or desktop have some problem you can reinstall the operating system from that disk so again to boot up from Windows or your host operating system you just need to, to click on restart click on restart again it will ask you to remove the installation media so just remove this USB stick and press enter so friends that's all for now hope that you would like this tutorial and DIY stay tuned for more DIY videos and how to's videos Till then, goodbye.